Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. I wanted to come on here and talk really openly and candidly about the wash and go that I just did. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it here and how I styled and refreshed it for the first two days after. So basically that feels like it was such a shocking but yet good learning experience. For those of you who don't know, I've been natural for over 10 years. I predominantly wear my hair in straightened styles such as this. And then when I'm not straightening my hair, I'll do some form of bun or braids or French braids or something like that. I never do wash and goes. I will rarely style my hair in its curly state and wear it out like that. I just, it, it's just not for me. But spring is coming or spring is here and summer is coming and I want to find a way to perfect or at least reach a mediocre level of styling my natural hair for when summer really hits and it's hot and I can no longer do straight hairstyles or if I'm at the beach or I'm at the pool I want to be able to do some form of a wash and go so I'm the plan is to work on it the plan was also to do a low heat no heat possibly challenge for the next couple of months as we're doing our healthy hair growth challenge. I, of course, want to make sure I'm a leading example and doing that along with you guys. But I have to say that was hard. That was really, really hard. It's obviously so much fun shampooing your hair and conditioning your hair and applying all these great curly hair wavy products. You've got your leave-ins, you've got your moisturizers, putting your gels, using a Denman brush and a detangler brush, letting your hair air dry or using a diffuser or whatever. This time around, I did my hair in the morning. I did not want to use heat for this wash and go. So I did it in the morning and went outside and uh, being outside helped dry my hair the majority of the way. And then it was dry by the time I went to bed, which is great. But I will say I did not enjoy the dryness, the level of dryness I am not used to. And I feel like here on YouTube and on social media, people will rarely talk to you about how much dryness you could potentially experience when doing wash and goes or styling your hair in its natural state or wearing your natural hair out compared to having it in a protective style or in a more straightened styled or some form of styled where it's like pulled back and contained. There is a lot of dryness that I experienced, a lot more than I was comfortable with. There was a lot of tangles as well. And the tangles happened so quickly. And for me, I like tangle free hair. That's part of one of the reasons why I like to wear my hair straight. And as soon as I went to wash my hair, I was like, I'm straightening my hair. Like my body, my mind, my hair was itching to just be smooth, sleek and tangle free. I only had my hair in that state for six days and I was over it by the third day, to be honest. I think for the next round, because I obviously I'm going to be brave and I'm going to try it again. But for the next round, I won't let it stretch six, seven days. I think um, when it comes to doing wash and goes and because of this, the products you're using and having your hair out and exposed to having your hair out and exposed to the, the dry air, the elements, all of that, your hair is going to dry out so fast, so, so, so fast. I think regardless of how good your products are or how much products you apply, having it out in that state, the air going through your strands, it's just going to dry it out. And I, I hated it. So I think I'm not going to let it stretch that long, maybe three to five days max. And then I'm going to completely redo the process or go into another style. As much as I would like to try to do back to back wash and goes, I don't think I can mentally handle it. And that's what I wanted to say in this video. You guys, like I've just talked openly about it before. I don't enjoy wash and goes. And I know not everybody enjoys straightening their hair or using high amounts of heat or having their hair in stretched out styles or maybe protective styles. They're really into just um, wearing their natural hair out 
and they found a way to do it well where it meshes with their lifestyle and they find it easy and they can restyle and refresh no problem but for me this was a challenge restyling refreshing in the morning took less than five minutes but at the end of the day there was just a lot of tangles a lot of tangles even just like pulling it out of the way to deal with my son or just hopping into the shower or whatever it may be it was just a lot and it was a lot of dryness and i'm not one for constantly reapplying hair products every single day i feel like that is an easy way to go through your products super fast and break the bank super fast so i do need to find ways of improving the wash and go styling routine and the maintenance between doing the hair having the hair out and then restyling the hair i think leave a comment below if you are somebody who has also struggled with large amounts of dryness and tangles when doing wash and goes or when just styling your natural hair wearing it out whatever it may be what do you do to combat it i had my hair in my self bonnet every single night i use my spray bottle with water to try to add moisture back into the hair and then reactivate the products as well because water can only do so much because it evaporates so quick so i wanted to make sure i was reactivating the 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 heavy-handed products that i did apply on that first day but what do you guys do there was a lot of tangles and i did not film what it was like when it came to combing out and washing the hair um but let's just say i was not able to comb out the hair i tried my best to just separate the clumps and i will obviously insert pictures throughout this video but it was a lot of clumps it was a lot of matting and it was a lot of, a lot of balls a lot of single strand knots it was just a wreck and then i shampooed my hair and it was just even worse and then up trying to apply the conditioner and detangling it, it it was a lot compared to what my normal wash day routine is like i've managed to kind of make it stress free and this just felt really really stressful because there was just so much breakage obviously you're going to have your normal amount of shedding 50 to 100 hairs a day and then if you don't end up combing that out throughout the 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 week you're going to see a high amount of hair come out when you go to wash it but there was a lot of snap crackle pop a lot of snap crackle pop and for people who have experienced breakage or um a lot of tangling and matting and then you reach the detangling process and you you hear what that snap crackle pop sounds like and it's it's a little bit heartbreaking but it's not the end of the world we're gonna find ways to improve so we can get a great start on the summer months so i hope you enjoyed this video leave your tips and comments down below for me and for others who are maybe looking to push aside a little bit of the heat and embrace some of the natural hairstyles for the summer and i will see you in the next video Peace out.